I'm going to be showing you how to capture passwords using pwdump on a local machine and then crack them using OPH crack. First we need to open command prompt. Now make sure you open it as an administrator or you won't be able to run pwdump. Once command prompt is open you need to use the cd command to navigate to the folder where you have the pwdump files stored. Use cd dot dot to move up in directories. You can also use tab to autocomplete the rest of the file or directory once you start typing it. Once we are in the directory, you are going to run pwdump7 and you are going to see it pops up with all the hashes for the passwords stored on my machine. Now to save this command, we are going to use the two greater than signs and then create a new file. So I am going to use pwdump7 greater than greater than mypasswords.txt in order to save them to a text document. Now I use the dir command, directory command, to view the files in the current directory and you will see that a mypasswords.txt file has been generated. Let's open up that file by typing mypasswords.txt. Now you can see the hashes that were printed in the command prompt window are now saved in that text document. Let's go ahead and open up OPH crack. Once OPH crack is open, we're going to click load and then pw dump. Now I'm going to use a different password file other than the one I just captured because I don't want to decode my passwords on screen. For this example, we're going to be cracking five password hashes. They're going to be eight characters in length. They're going to be using lowercase letters, uppercase letters, numbers, and all symbols. This is in line with a pretty standard password, and even if it's a little bit more difficult, this will give you a good idea of how long it will take to crack. You'll notice that in my OPH crack, I already have some tables loaded in. These tables can be downloaded from the internet. To install the tables, you would go to Tables, and then click the one that you've downloaded, Install, and then point it to the directory where those tables are saved. You'll notice with the passwords on the OPH crack screen that they were the same as the usernames. This was just to make it easier so you know when you have an accurate result. Just like that, your Windows passwords have been cracked. Now even watching those passwords being cracked in real time, we can see that it didn't take that long. It only took a minute and two seconds to get five out of the five passwords cracked. You can see the passwords that we cracked are here on screen.